Hello everybody. It's Bugsy and it's Yonky B. Bugsy, you know, I never you know, you never like do one of those videos where you ask like what you want in the movie back. Um hmm. You mean for the DLC? Um hmm. I don't know. I mean, I would like to see hmm. We know Broly is going to be in there, so I don't need to talk about Broly. Um, Bo Bojack? Come like, I like to see Bojack. You mean Bojack or Bojack Horseman? Dude, I, I wouldn't be talking about Bojack Horseman. What would Bojack Horseman be doing in a freaking Dragon Ball Z game anyway? Although, that would be weird. But kind of cool. But not even the point. Um, yeah, I guess I would like Bojack and kind of see how Toe and Rare would fuck with the story. I mean, think about it. All they would need to really do, all Toe and Rare would really need to do is just make Bojack a bit stronger, and then he'd kill Go. He they kill Gohan. But aren't the movies not actually canon to the main storyline? I guess, but you know, alternate timelines and whatnot. No, I don't think they're getting to the main storyline, but I would like to see cooler. Just like, just so I could say I beat Tupac. <laughs> just so I could say, you know, the thing. Yeah, I know. But anyways, um, yeah, it would be cool. Bugsy was all like looking at freaking the uh, ranch trailer last night by himself. He was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it's god dang guys, I love Dragon Ball Z, but I wanna, I wanna play Xenoverse so bad. It's like, it's like every time I look away, they're doing something. They're they got something even better, better, and I'm gonna be playing this game a lot more than I do. I think more than I." More than I'm playing Smash, you know? I love Smash. Don't get me wrong about that. I love... I love Smash. I love Smash to death. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna be probably playing this a lot more than I do uh, regular stuff. And I'm gonna get the season pass. Okay, I'm gonna actually probably get two cards and, uh... I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the season pass and then I'm gonna go buy that Duke Nukem uh that Duke Nukem Deluxe pack which has the uh Duke Nukem three D stuff. Eh just because, you know just because if it hasn't been apparent, I love Duke Nukem. And not in a gay way though. That'd be weird. You know why I never got why did why would Duke get a gay robot sidekick. It's not like he'd be able to relate with the robot, you know. Duke likes chicks, the robot would like dudes. And yeah, I just I don't really understand how that was supposed to go. Like was it supposed to be funny or was it supposed to be like this and this? But eh I think I'll talk about that probably some other time. And about Duke Nukem, uh, because I really do love Duke Nukem. But anyways, back to Dragon Ball Uni Dragon Ball Universe Month. Because here here in this here in these videos, all of these Dragon all the Dragon Ball Z things for right now, as of this month, are all canon. In some weird way. So dude. How do you like uh, Return of Cooler? Well, uh, well, you mean Revenge of Cooler? Because I want to start with that first. Um, this was the you know this is the first time the only the other than Revenge of Cooler and Return of Cooler and that cameo appearance he made in GT is the only the the first time you saw Cooler. You know and it. You know, Cooler basically wants uh, have he wants to take revenge on the on the saying who kills his brother, but really he couldn't care less about Frieza. It was more of a family honor kind of thing. So you know, blah 
coming by, Goku whoops it, beats him, and pushes him into the sun. Next movie, The Big Getty Star. I don't know, I like I like saying the word, I like saying Big Getty Star for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, yeah. they take up, you know, The Big Getty Star takes over New Namek, they get to fight a freaking computer consciousness of Cooler, which was Cooler itself. That got pushed into the sun, and boom. Lord Slug. Well, I like both of these. I like both of these, and it really sucks now that they're not, they're not canon anymore. So that means, like, Cooler, you know, Frieza having a brother is not technically canon anymore, and I kind of I just, I don't, I kind of hate that, because Cooler was one of those characters that was like, Cooler, Cooler is like the mixture of all the other, um, all the other DBZ villains, in my opinion. <sighs> he could be a little bit more reserved than Frieza, Frieza would go all over the place, but he was more, res he was a more reserved kind of villain. Until he really needed to fight. But, uh, yeah. I can see... I can actually see, like, uh... I can actually probably see, um... But really, I can actually see Tomamira actually trying to make him stronger to kill Goku and anybody else. I would like to see Super Saiyan Bardock though, because the only game he was actually in was Battle of Z, and you know, you guys know how I felt about Battle of Z. Oh my god, what? why do they always show that picture? Then they accidentally, <laughs> didn't they accidentally kiss anyway? Yeah, I guess that's why people think that Sasuke and Naruto are gay, which really I don't agree with. I don't agree with at all. Hey, forty-two anime, forty-two, forty-two. She's kind. Of, she's a nice. She's a nice lady. I got to talk to her. She's nice. She's very nice. Anyways. Yeah, I mean seriously, go check out her content. She's really awesome. You know, you can pause the video. We'll wait. You back yet? Okay. But, Dragon <laughs> Z, when? Okay, I know we're talking about Dragon Ball Z, but when the guys saw Honey Pop, did they go the precious? Yeah, they did. Mostly because uh, back in the day, uh, when me and the guys really wanted something, whether it be uh, various things, games, or various other things, we start, we start, we start going the precious. Why haven't you done that for uh, Xenoverse yet? Because I know if I wait, I get, I will get the precious. So I give us wait. And another thing, I was sitting, I know, I know we're not talking about Dragon Ball Z right now, but, uh, our Dragon Ball and, you know, Dragon Ball series, but I want to talk for a minute about, like, that one, this one freaking scene us on Robot Chicken where freaking, um, we're freaking, uh, let's just say, Golem, Golem does some weird Tafrola, Tafrodo, and it's in Mount, it's in the, uh, it's in the volcano, and I, I don't want to even talk about it any further than that. So, so, but anyways, so, uh, mm. Lord Slug, um, yeah, I could. I really did enjoy that. I enjoyed that too. 
And it really showed that it showed that the freaking Namekians do have another transformation and they can grow big, but I don't think they're gonna do that in the game. That'd be kinda overpowered. That'd be kinda overpowered did that'd be overpowered as hell, to be quite honest. Freaking I did like the tree of might. I kinda do think, um I do think in some way I think, in some way, Turles is is related to Bardock and Goku, but I don't know. I don't know how. I wouldn't say he's. A, I would say that he's sort of a distant cousin or some sort of some sort of relative or something. I don't really know. I'm thinking, thinking he could be, but you know, a lot of people say he isn't and he is, and I'm thinking that yeah, he is kind of related to them, but not in the way that we. Not in the way that we think. Hmm. Must. But, since we're here, we just for the people that don't know who these people are. That's why we show these videos for people that don't, that aren't subscribed to Ryan Style and Toasty. Yeah, I mean when you see these videos, tell them all, don't, tell them Bugsy and uh, Yonky sent you. They won't know what it means, but we'll know. What's going on, my super sandwiches? Rob's here, and today I'm going to discuss the differences between the Dragon Ball Z universe open network test slash beta that took place back in October and the most recent beta we never got to play. I know, isn't it, isn't it sad? We got, me and you got the freaking cold. You got the cold too, right? Yeah, I got the cold too. We got ours freaking, we got ours before, when the beta was over. How, how fucked up is that shit? Yeah, we tried to, re I tried to redeem it all over the place. Ago, because I know this is a question that's been popping up a lot in the last couple of days, so here we go. First things first, let's talk about differences in a couple of attacks that I noticed that were pretty overpowered in the beta. And I briefly talked about this in yesterday's video, but Meteor Crash was an important one that I noticed was really overpowered in beta. Um, because of no lag time, you were actually able to link Meteor Crash on and on and on and on and on. As long as you had key, you could keep using Meteor Crash and basically destroy your opponent's health in the open network test slash beta. And because of that, the attack was very overpowered. So I was wondering how they were going to fix that attack as well as many other ones that I noticed in the beta. Um, and how they did that, actually using Meteor Crash as an example, after you do Meteor Crash, your character jumps backwards. So that, because of that system now, I you're unable to spam did. that we attack a thousand times like, like you did in the beta. So Next that's cool beta, to see. Now, the obviously, I didn't see every single... want to play, me and you got to get on that. Oh, trust me. Don't worry. If they do another Xenoverse one and they do a beta, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Trust me. It'd probably be like a... Probably in like six or five years, man. But I'll be there. I'll be like, we'll be on it. We'll be on it, man. Me and you. Attack. Uh, the differences in how they got nerfed in the final version of the game. Not the final version of the game, but the most recent version. Because the game that I played was not the final, final version. But it was a pretty near complete version of the game. Uh, from what I understand, the only thing that they still are working on is combo timing. And uh, essentially making the game a little bit more smoother. Uh, everything else content wise is done, but that's kind of they're trying to finish up in the final version of the game. But uh, what I noticed is is a lot of the attacks I signed the beta were a lot smoother and more balanced out in this build of the game, and I'm excited to see that. Now the next thing I want to talk about and discuss is the stamina and key bar because this was kind of a problem in the beta. So first things first, your key and stamina were generated really really fast, and it was pretty easy pull off attacks left and right in the beta. And I was wondering how they were going to balance it out. So for starters. When I played a beta, I never equipped key charge once just because I saw no use for it. Every time I attacked my opponent, I would fill up my key that way. And I figured because of that, I can get four super attack slots instead of three because, you know, you need to equip key charge if you want to use that with your character. And uh, I never relied on it. But after playing the more, more recent build of the game, I realized key charge might actually be kind of important in this game. Um, you can't just completely rely on just punching your opponent to get key in this game like you did in games like Battle Z. Because, uh, well, it doesn't fill up your key as Z, and that's why, that's why we're going to equip key charge.
much. Which is funny because Key Charge back in the beta did not fill up your key that much at all. It actually went really, really slow. And that's another reason why I didn't use it when I played the beta. But it looks like it, they kind of flipped it. So if you have Key Charge equipped, you do charge your key a lot faster versus just punching your opponent and getting key that way. And what I noticed when I was playing the game, uh, uh, the campaign mode, I kept getting destroyed. And that's because, you know, I kept trying to fill up my key bars and do super moves. And because of that, I was, like, trying to find the perfect balance and um, pull off my attacks. And it looks like when I get the final version of the game in a couple weeks, key charge yeah. might be a pretty important um, ability to equip, at least at first. Because remember, as you level up, you do grow your stamina and key bar throughout Wait. the course of the game. So, uh, well, in the beginning, I'll probably suggest you play with that what you first. Expecting? Then again, all depends what fully on your skill level. Because some really? people might just not like need to waste like a slot to keep a slot to key charge at all. Like so it's up to you. But I want to kind of bring that up. And be like the next thing I want to discuss, and this is very important, is the stamina the bar. Now, the stamina bar is essentially now, what you stupid. use to block, to dash, and most importantly, snap vanish. So, essentially, if we're going to use Naruto as an example, example uh, or comparison uh, it's the sub box the sub bar so if you have no stamina you can't snap vanish you can't really block or stop attacks and you definitely can't you know charge not charge up a dash so you want to make sure your stamina is up to par and just like with key like I said you can also strengthen and make your stamina bar a lot longer as you level up because every time you level up you get uh, attribute points that you can put into your character's attacks stamina Sweet. health things like, things like that and um, I noticed in the final version of the game well not final version in the recent version of the game stamina goes a lot faster i remember when i was playing the beta uh using snap vanish you could do it very, very easy you can just snap actually left and right dodge so many attacks and because of that i kind of saw uh the stamina bar i guess the stamina system excuse me a little bit over and when i got to play the most recent version of the game i noticed that it runs out a lot faster i'm talking about i believe snap vanishing took two bars and i think you start with three when you first create your character uh, so essentially, you are limited to how many snap vanishes you can do, which is a good thing because then that means you can't just easily get out of attacks left and right, and you have to be more this. strategic in how you Actually, use your snap yeah. vanishing, as well as dashing, as well as blocking. Because remember, the stamina bar you, is me, empty. And you I was block. not a big note taker in high school. Was not. College, not so much. Like seriously. So yeah, I'm taking notes. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt a lot. Whereas if your stamina is full, um, you can probably reduce damage greatly by blocking against like an ultimate attack or something like that. So stamina is actually very, very important, and you're you're gonna have to keep your eye on that uh, bar a lot. Trust me, a lot. And I made a big mistake when I was playing this final version of the game because I was so used to the beta where I just kind of snap vanish and abuse the stamina system and then really pay attention to it. And because of that, I got destroyed a lot. When I say a lot, I mean I got destroyed a lot. Which, by the way, I wanna. Um, say this game is not easy <laughs> it is not easy at all because when i played the open network test i ran through the parallel quests easily i defeated the offline characters very easily and i thought the game was gonna be a walk in the park but after playing campaign mode i realized okay this game actually has a difficulty factor which is obviously a good thing to me um because obviously you oh, don't want to play these games which you get through in one night well, actually matter of fact what i was told what i was told uh you can't oh, really the defeat comes out. the campaign mode in one city and I'm going to make a whole other video about this tomorrow to really break down how this works, but uh, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So because of that, uh, I'm only bringing this up because I want to essentially bring more attention to the importance of the key and stamina bar of this game. Because obviously, the more key you have, the more you can rely on your special attacks, super attacks, open attacks, as well as dodging with your uh, your instant uh, dodge attack. I forgot what that actually is called. Your escape moves. You can uh, rely, uh, to rely on your escape moves, like, things like that. So... Uh, the game is difficult, so I want to bring that up. The game is difficult because of that. You have to make sure that you keep an eye on your entire character system, or I guess everything that goes into your character as you're playing the game. So, if I have to no rank problem. it, I would probably say stamina is the most important because, again, this is what you use to dodge, to fly around, to essentially survive, you know. Um, and then the next thing that's most important is definitely going to be key, followed by health as well. I also noticed, well, mainly because the character that I was using had no health at all. Because the way uh, Bond and Uncle set it up was, this was like a, it wasn't a demo that they had at the event. It was a full game, but it was like the most recent build of the game. And what they did is, is they just had a guy come in and just basically play the game for like three hours, try to unlock as much as possible. So when uh, YouTubers and influencers uh, came to the event, they were able to play more than just the Saiyan Saga. So what I got to play was up to the Ginyu Saga, which uh, involved uh, uh. an epic battle. Against Sorry guys, we're just, we're just being quiet because, because I just wanted to listen. Cheese. 
I wanted to listen to this, but uh, really? <laughs> well, see, they got to play a full version of the fucking game. I know, I know, but we can wait, right? Yeah, that's right. Like, god dang, they got to play a full version and we just, we didn't even get to play the beta? Well, I mean, it's better that we didn't play the beta because, look, you know, Rhymestyle got so used to it, it's like, he, you know, he, you know, because of that. So, if we got, so if we played the beta, we got used to everything, even though it was temporary, we would have got our, we would have got our asses kicked in the actual version of the game. <sighs> That's true. It's true. But still pretty cool. Uh, which you can see that full 13 minute gameplay in uh, my video that I uploaded uh, on Monday. But uh, it, from where we were at, it, um, from where we were at, whoever leveled up the character did not level up health at all. So because of that, I ended up getting destroyed a lot because I had next to no health. So the key to playing this game is, is you have to make sure you keep an eye on your stamina, uh, keep an eye on your key, and then also know how to freaking put points into your character don't just level up super attacks don't just level up you know health like kind of figure out what the right way is to build out the perfect character as you play the game now of course when the game comes out once i have a little bit more time to play it i'll probably make out a bunch of or make out <laughs> i'll make out with the game no i'll make a bunch of uh yeah who make guides, out with, that's it, i guess yeah right that so i'll make out with that game <laughs> you're gonna be like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but seriously though, um, but seriously, um, I'd say the best way, I'd say the best way to go, because this is like what I do for every like RPG, um, uh, every RPG or everything where it needs me to level up certain things, I'd say, mm, go with your health, then go to the, go to the next thing you need to do, like key and stamina. You know, just just keep doing that in like a cycle for a bit, and then see how it goes. Or I could be wrong; it could be like another thing entirely. Where if you probably like update and upgrade something, you lose something. Probably not like it's probably not like that. But seriously, um, I'd say go health, go health, uh, key stamina, health key stamina, and just keep going like that. That's what I, that's what I think. Uh, that's gonna be kind of cool, with people. Yeah, that's what I think people should do. I mean, I'm only, I'm only just doing hearing that because I've heard from what Ryan sound, what the others have said. But honestly, I'd go with, I'd go with that before uh, I'd go with that. Yeah, that's what I do with every RPG, you know. And then when I'm done, you know, when I go down the, when I go down that HP. Key stamina. I just go around. I just do it again, like a cycle. You go health. But then again, I think you might you might as well go key. I mean, you can do any kind of. I mean, you can go. You can do whatever you want. But uh, that's the kind of thing I always do. How to make uh, the perfect warrior? Whether you want to be key based, you know, health based, defense based, offense based, whatever. I will make a bunch of guys to show you guys how to play that. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel when the game comes out. Because uh, we are in a home stretch, the games are going to be out in less than a month, and uh, that doesn't mean these videos are going to end. There's just going to be a lot of content, it's going to be a lot of fun content, uh, from character creations to uh, playthroughs and stuff like that, and all, and as well as battles with you guys as well. So look out for that, and just as I said, uh, before, I'm not gonna be able to I will battle be getting with the you PS4. If you get this game on the PS4, I won't be able to battle with you, dude. You got to have, like have like a PS3, and I don't, I don't have a PS4 right now. Or maybe I could get one. Maybe I could get one while I get Xenoverse. I don't know. Maybe. Or look for me in the battlefield and we'll get some matches going. But prepare to lose because I'm going to. I'm not going to go easy on anyone when I play this game. Um, but anybody who. But yeah. Uh, so but just I'll kinda, say this. Who anybody, anybody who has the PlayStation 3 uh, version of the game, look for me, peeps. Because me and. Because me, because we're I'm going under the name Yonkey Bugsy, so I'll be around. Or Yonkey, Yonkey, or me, or Yonkey will be around. So uh, be prepared. But we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing the, we're gonna be playing the story and the parallel quests and all the other stuff before we actually uh, fight anybody.
I don't want to. I don't want to meet any of you. Uh, you know, when my, my character's like your character's like this. Your character's got like a whole bunch of strength and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, my character's just kind of. Mm. Summarize and recap everything I said. Hold up, wait, get a burp. Ah. Okay. There, there we go. Random bursts of burps or something. Um. But I, but I kind of like, I mean, I kind of like how Xenoverse is turning out because it is like a refined version of Ultimate Tenkaichi. Everything that Ultimate Tenkaichi was trying to do, this game actually knows what it's doing. And I actually like, I applaud it for that. I really do. Just erase this, guys. Ooh, what's that? Nostalgic. When nostalgic gone goes wrong. Yeah, that was my uh, uh, you know, fan brand back. Oh, yeah. Just to recap, uh, stamina is the most important, in my opinion. Followed by key, uh, because again, that controls your super attacks and your special moves. And then keep an eye on your health. For the love of God, you know, it's really like those health bars. Even though they look small, it's really based on how much HP your character has. So even though they don't look like they're long at all, it, it, it could be a lot of health, it could be very little health. So make sure when you're leveling up your character, you balance them out the right way, otherwise it's going to contribute to your loss uh, throughout the game, and, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, tune in tomorrow, I will break down um, the actual campaign mode itself, not like, you know, details and stuff, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to uh, break down uh, what I meant by the game was difficult, as well as... A little bit more details of how the custom created characters work as well, because I did get to experience uh, we'll a, lot of, like, force, like, like, I a lot of information in I regards to how that works. Tweet to girl on my channel, and I will tell you all that information and stuff. And yeah. Uh, other than that, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, drop a Game comment in the comment section sucks. below. Game and of course, sucks. if you enjoyed this video, if you're hyped for Dragon Ball Z, so we cannot wait for this game to come out in a couple weeks. Make sure you punch I that like button. Wait. Right, right, I can't right, wait. I can't wait to ride style. Jesus. Light, light dark. <laughs> Punch the like button right in the face. I can't wait for Ramstyle, we'll seriously. My name is Ramstyle. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see all you awesome super sandwiches. Dude, I want to say how freaking lucky you are. I mean, I mean, I wish, I wish that uh, Nanko Bandai saw my videos. It was like, mm, let's, let's show these guys the game. I'd be, I'd be so happy. I would be so happy. Like, you wouldn't, you, you don't have any idea how happy I'd be. But, like, but like I said, if any of you want to go, you know, anybody wants to fight me and Yonki or any of the other guys on this channel, well, we're gonna have the PlayStation 4, I mean, PlayStation 3 version, we'll have the PlayStation, I guess we'll have the PlayStation 4 version whenever I get around to getting it. So, anything else we want to talk about? Ooh, can we talk about, um, can we talk about what Yamcha probably does now that, you know, because he was, yeah, 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 scratch something. Yeah, I accidentally scratched the leather on my, leather on my pants and it kind of hurt. Alright, anyways. We talk about Yamcha. Oh, uh, what Yamcha does. I think nowadays he just kind of just sits around. You know, he's probably still like a baseball player. How you know that for sure? How you know that for sure? Because, man, you gotta do something. You gotta do something to get some money. You can't just, you know, because, the, I, you know, people always say Yom's is weak, but, in the, but I, feel, I feel like Yomcha knows, he knows that he's weak. He knows that he can't fight the same kind of people that Goku, um, Gohan, and sometimes Krillin can fight. You know, and that's why, like Tien, they sort of dropped out of the, um, they dropped out of the spotlight, because they... 
They don't want to die again. They want to actually just live and not deal with all this crap. I mean, they'll fight if they got to, but if they don't, if they can avoid it, they can. You know what I mean? And, you know, you people are like, Buzzy, you're probably just making excuses for it. But probably that's what happened. I mean, freaking Yom should probably died once and eat. And after that, and losing Bulma. I don't know how. I mean, seriously, man. If I. If, if, if me or Bugsy had Bulma as a girlfriend, man, you must have did something wrong. And always freaking fight about the most stupidest of shit. <laughs> I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised that Yomji doesn't get all like, get all angry when he sees Trunks like, You should have been my son. <sighs> but he can't do, but he really can't do anything because, you know, Jesus is there. So it's like, oh shit. Who's your best one on Battle of the Gods? Beerus getting mad and wanting to destroy the earth over King Pudding. I guess, yeah, I guess that's funny. It is kind of funny because he just, he, 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 went to an, he went to one extreme to go to another. He just went through an extreme just to, just because he wanted Pudding and I just thought that little moment was kind of funny. It's kind of funny in like a what the fuck kind of way, like, what the fuck, you're gonna destroy the world just because, you know, just because Von Boo wouldn't share his pudding with you? That's kind of... Mm. Didn't, didn't, uh, Beerus get slapped by, by Boma, like, uh, towards the end? <laughs> no, no, but I gotta give props to Vegeta because he was like, my Boma! It's like, you're challenging the inner, the, just the inner version of the Hulk when he was doing it. Like, <laughs> he didn't stand a chance against his friends, Beerus, but he didn't, he didn't fucking care. He just, he went at it. Even though freaking he got his, he got his ass kicked, but still. I applaud him for that. I applaud him for a lot of things that he did. Yeah, I mean, I always kind of thought that Vegeta was kind of a douche. Most of the time, but when I was like, Vegeta's a model, when freaking um, Krillin said Vegeta's like a model citizen, I'm like, it's like the Prince of All Saints is not a freaking goody goody, and it's freaking, freaking phone was like, calm, calm down, bad man, calm down, bad man, just do you, just help the others. And I was like, <laughs> what you don't see yourself as good, Vegeta? You've done. You've done a lot of good, and it really outweighs up the bad and probably half of the people you killed. And he's probably killed a lot. He's destroyed entire planets. thing dude yeah oh no this episode this seems kind of short what did we forget to do I think we forget to, I think we forgot to put in a uh, rock the dragon I wanted to get I wanted to get to it look like, uh, kind of fast today but I'm totally with you man I want I, but like the yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited about this game. I'm just not excited about how you are. Because you're like, three more weeks. Three more weeks. After this week, it's three more weeks. I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You don't even, you don't even notice it, do you? You don't even freaking notice it, do you, Bugsy? What? That you go, you, every time you look at it, you're like, oh, you're looking at it with a hunger, a hunger that can't be quenched until, that can't be quenched until uh, way, way later. Oh my God.
god, Teletubbies. I hate them fucking things, Bugsy. <laughs> I have to tell you. One of my one of my sister's kids, Bugsy, was watching it. And I looked at it and was like, what what is this? It, and they and, you know, the kid was like, Teletubbies. I was like, Okay. I looked at it for a minute. But I didn't like them. They looked very, very fucking creepy to me. <laughs> I didn't know you were afraid of Teletubbies. I mean, I know you were afraid when I said E V I L. Quit doing that! Sh shit! I'm just. I'm fucking with you, man. But, anyways, um. I can't believe you're afraid of Teletubbies. I thought you were afraid of Teletubbies. I am? <laughs> but, you know, it's just because you don't want to see shit like Slender Tubbies and showing them how really scary they actually can be. You, you'd understand how I feel about them. But, not even here, that's neither here nor there. Just thought I'd say that. Um. So, la the last thing I need to say before we just get done. <sighs> what, what is it? Um, hmm. Next. Next. Uh, we'll get in LA to put some music on. They drown out some of that background noise. Yeah, I love that. Oh, every time I try to get some music to drown out background noise. I'm telling you, man, I think we should get like a fucking like house. Awesome. Oh, yeah. How are we going to get a gigantic office? I'm just saying, that'd be cool. That way, we won't have to be dealing with this all the time. You wouldn't have to be dealing with this all the time. Be close to where we live and all that. We can just do it like that. But anyways, people, like, favorite, subscribe to this channel. It'll make the the big three net the big three box network will keep going on and keep going strong. I'm Bugsy, your chaotic, your chaotic jester, and I'll see you very, very soon, guys. Also, if you, um, if you'd be so kind, tell us what you, tell us what you think, what you think about Xenoverse. Will it be good? Will it be bad? You know, give us your opinion. We're not gonna, we're not gonna tag you or anything, but just don't be a dick to other people. That's the only rule. That's like one of the other rules I have on my channel. Don't be a dick to other people because if they don't, because if they think it's bad, let them say it. Just don't be a dick about it. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. I know this was a short little Dragon Ball Z. This was a short Dragon U Dragon Ball Universe month video. But I hope you enjoyed day four. Technically, I hope you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all later. Goodbye. And you mooks, also, um, you know, if you would, tell us uh, what your PSN account so we'll be ready to fight you whenever. Because me and Bugsy have a lot of free time.